I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong. Oh, it's right. Listen, vaguely. <laughs> I got this. I got this. Move my notebook out the way. Wonderful job there, Luke. All right, so we got yet another painting scrap. <sighs> the next time Leighton gives me a puzzle, I might just fight this man. I might just fight him. Everyone else can give us a puzzle. Leighton, no. Hey, out looking for Ramon, are you? Yep, you're definitely looking for Ramon. So, you still haven't found the guy? Listen, streets here are dangerous at night. Crazy dangerous. You can't go running all over town with a kid. Because that's dangerous. Crazy dangerous. I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish your poor judgment with a puzzle. But you'll solve it, yeah? Of course. Here we go. Puzzle another 50. O-T-T-F. One, two, three, four. Is that what this puzzle is? One, two, three, four. Is it one of, one of those? Yep, it is. It's worth 20 picarats. Here you have a set of small paper cards. On each letter is a, on each card is a single letter, but one of the cards is missing a letter. What letter belongs on the blank card? I've done I've done this puzzle so many times in my life. Like when I naturally see O T T F, my mind instantly goes O T T F F S S. Uh, what's next? E N T E T T F. It, it like I I I can go. I can go. The order is one, two, three, four, five. So it'd be an F. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is an F. Oh, how do I make an F on the Nintendo DS? Oh, shit. See, this is the real part of the puzzle. Figuring out how to write an F. I'm just doing, I'm doing a lowercase F. Nope. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Let's see. Can I do a cursive F? Will let me? That, hey, it gets cursive, but it doesn't get print. And these squares are there so that I can guide for print. Listen, I need I need everybody to get together. Luke, here's my answer. Critical thinking is the key to success. Shut up, Layton. The only experience I have with this series is watching an LP of the Ace Attorney crossover. That game is actually what made me want to play this game. Um, I played through every Ace Attorney game, uh, except for say, was it Spirit of Justice? I'm at the very end of that. Um, the Layton versus Wright game was easily one of the most fun experiences uh, of a handheld game that I've had. As I've always said I wanted to play uh, a game in the latent series. I just never got around to it. And I figured streams is the best way to go about it. So that's why I'm playing this here. That's right. The letters written on paper correspond to the first letter and the numbers 1 through 10. Let's move on. <laughs> well, it looks like you solved it, all right? Of course, we all knew a brainiac like you would solve it. If and you're looking for the cafe, it's right there. But it's way past that kid's bedtime, you know? Way past. Besides, the tower could start making noise again any time, yeah? Trust me on this one, Professor. Get back to the end, yeah? Yeah, get back to the end. The Teak Bureau. That sounds like something Leighton would love to put in his room. We'll give it to Leighton. All right, to the cafe. Oh, boy, we got to collect info here at the cafe. And this shady-looking gentleman is here. Let's talk to him first. He's going to give us a puzzle. He's going to give us a puzzle because everybody's out to get me today. Everybody. Oh, oh, wrong voice. Oh, fancy you meeting you here. I've got, see, I told you. I told you. I told you. I've got a doozy of a puzzle right now. It's harder to crack than a coconut. And who knows, it might even have something to do with the case you're investigating right now. So what do you say? Help a fellow detective out, will you, brother? That's all very interesting, but I do believe there's been a mistake here. I'm no detective, you see. Say no more. Undercover and all that then, yes? Very well. But I know a fellow sleuth when I see one. Us being in the same trade and all, I suppose it couldn't hurt if I let you have a look at these puzzle. Leighton just said, no, no, sorry, I'm sorry, sir. This man said, no, I insist. Here, take this puzzle. The town barbers is worth 10. It's worth 10 picarats. Uh, so it's on the easy side. 
The lower the number of picarats is worth, the easier the puzzle. A certain town has only two barbers in it. There aren't any other towns nearby, so everyone who lives there gets their hair cut by one of these two stylists. Looking at these two fine gentlemen, which one should you go to for a haircut? I know the answer. Everybody post the answer in chat below. I'm, I'm giving you permission now. I'm giving you permission this one time. Post the answer below. Do you go to Barber A? Do you go to Barber B? I still need to download this song and make it my... Uh, Making my ringtone. You go to Barber A. The, the 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 hair of the barber that you're looking at is not the one that cut their own hair. They're not like me. They don't cut their own hair. Uh, so you would go to A. You would go to Barber A because he gave Barber B this wonderful haircut. Do I? What do I do? There we go. Okay. <laughs> this music is. Here's my answer. Thanks, Layton. Every puzzle has an answer. This music is so chill. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> That's right. Everyone in the village gets their hair cut by one of these two barbers. That includes the two barbers themselves. Because bar people don't usually cut their own hair, uh, the stylist with the butchered haircut is probably the more skilled of the two. That's actually kind of, it's kind of uh, messed up. Oh, you done it. You solved that monster of a riddle. That was 10 points, bruh. That wasn't a monster of a riddle. Simply astounding. Even I couldn't do it. Oh, it wasn't that difficult. But on a more important subject. <laughs> Pause real quick. I imagine... I imagine... That, uh... The man Zapone, the other guy, was just explaining the, the puzzle to Leighton. And he goes, okay, there are only two barbers in town. And Leighton just slams his hands on the table. He goes, Barber A, let's get on to important business. <laughs> oh, it wasn't that difficult. But on a more important subject, have you heard word from Ramon lately? What's that you say, Guzar? You want to solve? No, bruh! What the hell? What the hell is this nonsense? You want to solve more puzzles? All right, then here's a gem of a chip. Go to Granny Riddleton Shack, that's all I can say. My detective instincts tell me that another cake is developing as we speak. I must take my leave now, but perhaps I'll see you again tomorrow. Okay, he's not gonna give us an actual riddle, he's just gonna be an asshole. Which is somewhat, which is somewhat <laughs> acceptable. You want more plot? Ha <laughs> ha, it was me. Puzzle. <laughs> okay, uh, we need to we need to go to Granny Rollerton's place. We'll go there in a second. Let's just talk to this man. Oh there. I've never seen your mug in here before. Well the be, pal. Oh, I'm not ordering anything. I actually just came by to inquire about a certain matter. Hmm. Not here for the special then, huh? Well, what do you want to know? No one has heard or seen from Ramon, the servant at Reinhold Manor, since this afternoon. We've looked about everywhere to no avail. It's like he just managed, uh, he just vanished from St. Mastia. While talking with Crowton earlier, he mentioned a strange old man who is said to lurk around the village. Do you perchance know anything about such an individual? An old man? Oh right, that old rumor. So you have heard of him before. If you have any information, anything at all, please share it with us. Hmm. You're not from here, are you? Thing is, I can't have you spreading crazy rumors about St. Mysterio to the outside world, now can I? Of course, if you're a puzzle solver, then maybe, just maybe, I can find it in me to trust you. Whoa, I see you solved 30 puzzles. All right then, here's an earful for you. Okay, he wasn't gonna give me a puzzle. Because I, I could have sworn he was going to be like, I can only trust you if you can solve this puzzle. He wanted to know how many puzzles that we saw. We wanted to make like a checkpoint, I guess. I know a fellow who swears up and down that he saw a strange old geezer skittering about town. The fellow I know is Prosquito. Prosquito? 
Is that like a cheese or bread or something? Sounds familiar. He's a wee one, but he got the appetite of a wolverine. Do you know where we might find this prosecutor? Can't say for sure, but at this hour, well, he's probably at home snacking on something. His house is on the road that winds up north from here. Why don't you go and pay that walking icebox a visit? All right, so we got to head to Prosciutto's, but we also had to go to... Let's go to Granny Riddleton's before we get lost. Because you guys know I'm good at getting lost. I think we want to go one of these two paths. Uh, we'll come back to that. I'm good at getting lost, boy. Let's let's go to Granny Riddleton's while I remember where it is. Give me like three minutes and I'll forget. Uh, there's supposed to be a mystery here, Granny. I don't remember her voice, and that was just 20 minutes ago. Oh, I remember her voice. Why, howdy! Do you often... She better say something else than this. Is she, is she, that what she gonna say? Okay, we are leaving Granny Riddleton's. <laughs> we are leaving Granny Riddleton's. Uh, I'm not going the right way at all. Told y'all, my, my, my internal map, my mental map, trash. Hashtag trash bag. Let's move. And then we can go up either one of these paths. It doesn't really matter. I don't think it matters. There's more men here. Let's talk to them. Oh, I don't think they'll... They're probably not going to say anything different. Let's see. It must be a drag having to keep up your investigation all through the night. How, How about a puzzle break to take the edge off? I've got just the puzzle for a night like this. I'm sick. I have this sickness. Monster. This puzzle's worth 20 picarats. Okay, so this is on the a little bit more of the harder scale. Oh no, the town is in grave peril. As you read this, a fearsome monster is launching an attack on St. Mysterio. Ward off the beast by stabbing it in the eye. And for goodness sake, hurry. As you read this, a fearsome monster is launching an attack on St. Mysterio. Ward off the beast by stabbing it in the eye. And for goodness sake, hurry. By stabbing it in the eye. There's so many options for eyes, and I feel like none of the ones that stick out immediately are the right answer. Like, I see this building here. I see this building here. There's the cat. This man, there's whatever this is. This tree. Is it the moon? I feel like it's the moon. Or what what I think is the moon. Oh, that's cool. They give me a sword. Let me let me move. There we go. There we go. There we, there we are. Alright. Is it the moon? I feel like it's the moon. Or what I think is the moon. That That's supposed to look like stars in the sky. But it could just be like a, a huge fearsome monster, you know? A fearsome monster is launching an attack on St. Mysterio. Ward off the beast by stabbing it in the eye. I feel like that's it. Luke, here's my answer. Hey! <laughs> Every puzzle has an answer. Hey, that was pretty clever. Well done. It seems the fiend was hiding in the night sky. That's, yeah, that's a bad explanation. Oh, no, I see it now. Okay, turn your head sideways. This, these are, this right here is, is arm, one arm, and then this is a foot. Okay, and then that's the mouth there. Okay, got it. Got it. I thought, I thought that was like its eye, and then its head was just huge, and this was all being blocked by the trees and the buildings and stuff. Yeah, that's a pretty bad puzzle. That's a very bad puzzle. I was right, but coincidentally right. You sure devoured that puzzle. Seeing as it's getting late, I should warn you both about the kidnapper that's been sneaking about town. 
So nobody wanted to tell me about this at all, really. Nobody wanted to tell me about this, but this man just wants to tell me now. Make sure you don't get snatched up walking around saying Mysterio. That'd be a great A shave, har har har. We got yet another painting scrap. Let's talk to this woman. Let's see, let's see, let's see how she's gonna segue into a puzzle. My, aren't you two up late? Aren't the two of you up late playing detective? If you like solving mysteries so much, would you do me a favor and help me with the puzzle? Just now understand the puzzle of the monster right now. Yes, it's it was it was badly I guess the outline of it was done poorly, am I if if you ask me. It was it was done in a way that it's not really noticeable. Thirty five pick rats, fish thief. When you weren't looking, someone came by and gobbled up your fish dinner. Well, everybody just gotta die now. That's how I solved that puzzle. The three brothers near the scene of this dastardly crime had this to say. Person A says, me? Oh yeah, I ate it. It was good too. B says, I saw A eat that fish right up. C says, B and I didn't eat that fish. One of the three brothers is lying to you, but which one is it? Oh boy, this is my type of puzzle. In, in all seriousness, I like puzzles like this. One of them is lying. They all say, they all give you a statement and only one of them is lying. This is my type of puzzle. So A said, oh yeah, I ate it up. A said that he ate it. B said that he ate it. I'm sorry, B said that A ate it. And C said, B and I didn't eat that fish. So A said that he ate it. B said that A ate it. C said B and C didn't eat it. One of them is lying. Only one is lying. The only way A can be lying is if B is also lying. Hold on. Hold the hell on. The only way A can be lying is if B is also lying. So that would mean C is lying. But C said B and I didn't eat that fish, which would mean that B and C did eat the fish. Did they all eat the fish? They all ate the fish. Everybody got to die. Everybody got to die because they all ate my dinner. C is lying. They all ate my fish. There we go. They all got to die. Everybody ate my fish. The key to success. The liar here is C. A and C split your dinner. Oh. Yeah. The answer becomes clear when you realize that if A is lying, B is lying as well. The same happens when you assume that B is the liar. So the only possible is C. So B didn't eat anything. I got mixed up somewhere. I, I found who was telling the truth, but I'm sorry, who was lying, but I got mixed up somewhere. Therefore, the only possible answer is that C is lying, a scenario that only works if C did eat some. Okay, got it. He wasn't covering. He was. He was. He was saying that B told the truth, but he was also trying to cover his own ass. Got it. <laughs> Who has one whole fish for dinner? People in the latent universe apparently don't eat. They don't sleep. They don't care about kidnappers. They all love puzzles. This is just the wildest world altogether. This video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to AltPlay as well as turn on notifications and follow at the AltPlay on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.